you couldn't do that to an animal. I, I don't understand what they were thinking and how that money meant that much to him. For James Hubbard, he says it's hard to think of what happened to his stepfather, 80-year-old Doug Lehman. Police say these two women, 63-year-old Karen Kasbaum and 55-year-old Lorraine Ferrallo, lived with the elderly man at his home. All right, what's up with the YouTube fam? I'm back again with another video. So listen, before I jump into the video, I want to start it out by telling everybody out there that is rocking with me and supporting me. I just want to tell you that I do appreciate y'all and I'm wishing the best for y'all in y'all life in every aspect. No matter what you got going on or what you're doing, I'm just wishing y'all the best. And um, yeah, man, if you feel like it's getting a little bit hard on you and you're ready to quit, that's the time that you should be pushing a little bit harder because most of the times the blessings on the other side of that feeling right there. So yeah, keep on pushing, man. Don't never give up on yourself because in a lot of cases, man, you are all you got. And what do you look like giving up on yourself? But anyway, go, let's get straight into the whole situation at hand. It's a situation that's going semi viral but it's not getting a whole bunch of coverage so we're going to talk about it over here on this channel but basically long story short it's an 80 year old man by the name of douglas layman now douglas like i said he's 80 years old and um you know they're basically just saying that he had a problem with being alone and you know he didn't really just want to sit at home by himself you know how it is when you're a little bit older and a lot of people don't come around as much and stuff like that and ultimately you can't make the the wrong decisions when you let loneliness get to you and stuff like that and i feel like this situation right here is a prime example of that he had a girlfriend by the name of karen casbaum i think that's how you pronounce her name now she was 63 years old and um i feel like she was personally this is just my personal opinion i feel like she was sitting around waiting on him to pass away so she can capitalize off his demise now I don't know exactly how he passed away. They, they didn't specify too much, but I do have other videos that I'm going to put on the screen that I haven't watched before. They probably could tell us, but ultimately they ended up taking his body to the bank. Yes, his body to the damn bank. These damn fools. They was this money hungry to the point where they took him to the bank and they ultimately ended up withdrawing some money. And I guess they used him as, you know, um, a way to get the money up out of the bank. Because, you know, in most cases, you need to be there to verify the money and stuff like that that's being withdrawn. Now, um, they have been caught because they did one of the dumbest things that you can do. Everything that I'm talking about right now is junky behavior, junky activities, for sure, for sure. I, I got nothing but junky vibes from the beginning to the end. Even though they did say that she was battling with drugs over the years and she was a thief, she was stealing from him and stuff like that. I still feel like she was a junkie just based off of the things that they was doing, you know, but ultimately she ended up getting caught because they dropped the body off at the hospital with no explanation or nothing like that and drove off like some damn idiots. Now they're facing a lot of time and the the charges that they are, you know, facing, the the I, I don't even want to get into all of that because there's certain words I can't say on YouTube, but I do want to say that, you know, they deserve every bit of what's coming to them. But other than that, let's get straight into this whole situation at hand. I have to give y'all a brief synopsis so y'all can get caught up to everything and know what the hell is going on before we get into it. Uh, There's a lot of details that I didn't say because I want y'all to watch the video to see the details. But other than that, I want to know your thoughts and opinions. I'm going to tell y'all what I feel about it during the video and after the video. If you don't want to hear me talking at any point in time during this video that's on my channel, just get up off of my channel. Go find us somewhere else if you can. If you can't, that's on you. I really don't give a damn about you no way, so it is what it is. But when I say that, I'm not talking to my supporters. I'm only talking to those who don't want to hear me talking. All my supporters out there, all I want y'all to do is hit the like button for me. Tell me what y'all feel about everything in the comment section. And yeah, we're going to talk about it all in the comment section as well. And add up my social medias as well if y'all want to add those. But other than that, let's get into it and see what the hell is going on with this. I couldn't do that to an animal. I, I don't understand what they're thinking and how that money meant that much to them. Some dope. For James Hubbard, he says it's hard to think of what happened to his stepfather, 80-year-old Doug Lehman. Police say these two women, 63-year-old Karen Kasbaum and 55-year-old Lorraine Ferrallo, lived with the elderly man at his home in Ashtabula. Authorities say they found him at home Thursday morning, then took his body to a bank drive through nearby, withdrawing hundreds of dollars. Hundreds, James that's says it. Karen was his stepfather's girlfriend for the last few years. He was in a position where he didn't want to live alone. He's been run through hell with this woman, three years of drugs stealing, selling his stuff. After taking his body to get the cash, police say the women dumped him at the emergency room of the Ashtabula County Medical Center and drove off without leaving any identification or information. Hours later, one of them called the hospital after they were back at his house. That led police to the women who were later arrested 
and charged with gross abuse of a corpse and theft. It's a first for all of us, I think, here. Um, I, and I've, I, I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like this. Uh, an instance where somebody used a, a dead body to withdraw money from the bank. It's just very, very unusual. As his family hopes, he's not remembered by the tragic circumstances surrounding his It was heartbreaking that I couldn't get him out of that situation, but it was heartbreaking thinking about him dying alone. Again, with new details, now a bizarre story we first told you about yesterday. Two women arrested after taking a man's body through a bank drive through to steal hundreds of dollars. Our Bree Buckley has been digging into this. Bree, what's the latest on this story? Yeah, more the grim details, just shocking the community and investigators alike with more questions than answers. As police tell me, they've never seen anything like this. These two women, 63-year-old Karen Kasbaum and 55-year-old Lorene Ferralo, are now facing gross abuse of a corpse and theft charges. Police say they took 80-year-old Doug Lehman to a bank drive through withdrawing hundreds of dollars before dropping his body at the Ashtabula County Medical Center and driving off without leaving any identification. This is just unconscionable behavior. Um, the, uh, the fact that they, he was propped up in the front seat to, to essentially fool the bank, the bank teller, so they could make the withdrawal. And that's, that's what we're alleging took place and that's how it appears. The two women lived with him and went back to his house, called the hospital hours later to give information about Doug. Family tells us Karen was his girlfriend. She was arrested last night. Lorene was arrested this morning. The entire situation, as you can imagine, just very upsetting for Doug's family. I spoke to his stepson who says Doug was a great guy who just didn't want to be alone as he got older. I'll have more from him coming up at 5. Laura? Wow. And I hate that, you know, people capitalize and try to you know, come up off of people's, um, how, what can I, how can I put this shit? Come up on their shortcomings, you know what I'm saying? They try to try to do whatever they can do to get whatever they can out of any situation, no matter what it is. And they're so desperate and so low to me. Like, have some dignity, you know what I'm saying? Go out there and try to work for it. It feels so much better when you're going to get the bag yourself when you're doing things yourself true enough you might need some help here and there but it feels so good to accomplish things on your own why wouldn't you go do that because you're a low life person in my personal opinion there's some lame ass shit to be doing bro if you know somebody going through certain things you really don't want them like that just leave them the hell alone stop trying to get whatever you can get up out of them stop trying to finesse them stop just go on on take your roaching ass on somewhere man that's all i really got to say man take your roaching ass on somewhere the only thing that you over here doing is really just messing up your karma. Like I always talk about, that cosmic karma is real. People don't be understanding that, man. Everything that you do has an effect. And a lot of the times, man, the only thing that you're doing is just add more to your karma bank account, man. I'm telling you. And soon enough, you're going to hit. You're going to hit the lottery out of that motherfucker. And someone's going to get you just like they did. Now they finna go through a whole bunch of stuff over a few hundred dollars. Hey, they, they could have went to go pop some cat for that real quick. You feel me? We're, I don't encourage that. I'm telling you, go get a job now. Go work for it. But I mean, shit, if you want to do some old despicable shit like this, I'd rather you go do that than do this right here. Anyway, go, man. They got what was coming to them, and they deserve everything that comes after this. Let's get back into it, though. Well, I agree. Um, you know, we speak of this man. Have authorities given any information on how he passed away? You know, I asked about that, but they, if it was from natural causes or if he was killed. But police wouldn't say. We have the coroner's office as well who says this is an ongoing investigation and the autopsy could take up to eight months. What a story. Mm -hmm. All right, Bree Buckley, live for us in the newsroom. Bree, thank you. Two women arrested, accused of taking a man to the bank to withdraw the money out of his account. Harry Boomer is live with a crime that even has police stunned. Harry? They junkies, hell. You know, Kelly, yes, yeah, strange seems to be one of the words that come to mind, but criminally bizarre also seems to fit this situation. Yes, they thugs and gangsters. You anything quite like this. I've been doing this for 28 years, and it's it's unique to say the least. Hopefully it'll be the last time we encounter something like this. It's hard to stun veteran police officers, each with nearly 30 years of experience. We were initially notified by the local hospital that a man's body had been dropped off, and he... He wasn't identified at the time, and the two women had dropped him off, and they didn't identify themselves either. The man is 80-year-old Douglas Lehman, and the two women are Karen Kasbaum and her friend Lorene Ferrallo. Allegedly, you know, they passed away a short time before he was transported from the home there at the house. 
and then from there is carried out, placed in front seat of the vehicle, and those two ladies then transported to one of the area banks uh, where there was a withdrawal conducted under his name. Police say they then took his body to the Ashtabula County Medical Center. Where he was essentially dumped off or dropped off, and then they left there, ran some errands, and went back to the house. Spent 33 years with my mother, which passed away four years ago. And then he got with this lady shortly after. James Hubbard said Douglas Lavin was his stepfather, even though he never married his mother. He soaked him dry all the time. Um, I'd give him money for food. I've been over there to help him get his electric on. I've asked him multiple times if he wanted him out of his house, and he would not let no one do anything. James says Douglas was afraid of living by himself and of dying alone. I never expected this time. What do you think about them taking advantage of him like this? It's, it's sickening, and I hope they don't get a slap on the wrist. The two women have been arrested and charged with a corpse and theft. I think the bizarre part is that somebody that you allegedly loved or cared for for seven or eight years, that this is, you would think this would be acceptable, you know, in the moments soon after he passed. Well, Mr. Douglas Hayman's body was transported to the Cuyahoga County Medical Examiner's Office for an autopsy. And, of course, the crime is still being investigated. Now, for it to be taken eight months, you never know what measure they are about to take to see what was done to this man. Because I feel like that they finna try to go all the way with this. You feel me? Because, I mean, true enough, he was old and up in age and stuff like that. And he could have been... A, a natural death but I honestly feel like with them being junkies and the way that they moving out there you never really just know what the heck could be going on they could have set up insurance policies months prior they could have been setting up all type of different things to make sure that they can capitalize off of his demise and I feel like that in most cases in most because some don't get the light of day but in most cases man you know you get what's coming to you you feel me i feel like that you be getting hunted down there you feel me like people ain't just finna go here and just pass away and let you just go on on here something be after your ass once you do somebody wrong and i feel like that um you know shit when somebody really really just got true genuine love for you they'll never do things like this no matter how bad they hurt they'll ask you for it before they'll go ahead and do things like this but i feel like that with her being a thief and her being a junkie and things like that you know he probably been telling her no for the longest and she probably just went ahead and did what she wanted to do which was this but um yeah man you got to check on your people you never know what they're going through mentally and stuff like that they probably just need somebody to talk to and you know people be so busy and life is so hard these days and stuff like that so it's to the point where people don't have enough time to check on people and go over there and stuff like that, but make time, try to, do do the best that you can do. You know, I just feel like that when it's a situation like this, you should be maxed out in any type of way. I'm talking about if the, if the maximum sentence is 10 years, get a ass 10, you feel me? Mandatory, you know, that's just how I feel. But anyway, go, let me know y'all thoughts and opinions. We're gonna get back into the video. Outside the Asheville City Police Department, I'm Harry Boomer, 19 years. This is very unusual. This is unusual for, for all of us. This is uh, my 28 years in law enforcement. This is the first time I've seen something quite like this. Astrobula City officials say they are stunned after arresting two women, Lorraine Ferrillo and Karen Cashbaum, who were accused of taking a deceased 80-year-old man through a bank drive through to withdraw money from his account. They both have been charged with uh, felonies. Astrobula City Police Chief Robert Stell tells us the women are facing charges of theft and gross. Corpse. They're charged with gross abuse of a corpse for taking a person who was dead and acting in a manner that would shock the conscience. Police say the women lived with the elderly man, Douglas Lehman, and they found him dead inside the home Monday. But instead of calling police or an ambulance, officials say the two had other plans. Yeah, the allegation is that uh, he was propped up in the front seat of the car. Um, and uh, take it through the drive through so that the bank would see him in the vehicle and they'd be able to make the withdrawal. After receiving about $900, the women are accused of taking his body to the hospital and then leaving. It's really sad that this poor man, all he had from what the evidence has shown so far is these two. Officials say the women were not related to the victim. The chief tells us detectives are continuing to investigate and the women could face additional charges soon. An official with the Astrobula County Coroner's Office says the cause of death has not yet been released and the case remains under investigation. I have never heard of anything other than fiction 
that is like this. Now, you know, in a situation like this, I feel like that they should go ahead and upgrade the charges to robbery and stuff like that because you did go to a bank, you did commit fraud, and you robbed this man's bank account, in my personal opinion. I know it's going to be a lot of people out there that don't see it to be that serious, but I definitely do because he trusted you, he confided in you, and he left his life in your hands, basically, and you treated him like this, which is so crazy to me. But, uh, you know, I also want to blame certain people that left him out here without the help that he really, really needed. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure he would have been good with just having his family coming by and stuff like that. But, you know, at the same time, he probably wants somebody outside of the family, you know, like a female companion, so I can understand that also to a certain extent. But, you know, overall, you know, you got to check on your people, make sure that they are okay, and make sure that everything is okay with them mentally also. Because sometimes, man, people be going through so many different phases within themselves to the point where you think everything is okay, but really in all actuality, they breaking down in the inside, you know? So go check on your people, talk to them sometimes and stuff like that if you choose to. If you don't, I can understand it also because I'm not the type that just goes out and try to reach out to people and shit, you know what I'm saying? I mean, if we already been cool and cordial and we have been locking in and it's mutual, then yeah, but as far as like me just going out my way trying to go reach out and find you, now that ain't me personally. You know, but unless you owe me some money. But other than that, man, that's all I got to say. I want to know your thoughts and opinions on this situation. R.P. to him. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to holler at y'all later on another video. If you made it to the end, I do appreciate y'all. And I will holler at y'all later on another video.